channel. My name is Ivana and if you're new here that's totally cool because I am too. This video is going to be all about trying on Princess Polly clothes. I bought quite a few items here for transitioning into summer. Some pieces that you can still wear if it's a little chilly out. I did get some layers and I wanted to go through all of those things with you. Talk about sizing, fit, and how I feel about everything. Did want to add this disclaimer that this is in no way sponsored by Princess Polly. I paid for all of these items with my own money. I am not affiliated with them or sponsored by them in any way. So all of my thoughts and opinions in here are going to be 100% true and my own. I have links down below for all the items you see in the video as well as sizing information. So if I do forget to mention the size, just know everything is listed down there. Um, generally, I am a size 8 in Princess Polly, so I did want to show my curvier, more mid-sized girls what some of these clothes look like on a curvier type of body. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, is this thing on? So, first up is this cute little lounge set. It is matching with the logo on the shorts as well as across the chest. Tank top is cropped. It is pretty see-through, so if you're not okay with that, maybe consider like some pasties or a strapless bra. The shorts are like really thick and good quality though, so they are not see-through at all. Um, I am wearing like a black printed thong underneath, which you cannot see through the fabric in any way. Always a big plus, especially with white. Um, I love the length of the shorts. I do get a lot of lounge sets from Princess Polly because they're always like such good quality. They don't shrink when you wash. I'm wearing an eight in both. I will say the top is a little bit tight for an eight though. Let me double check. Okay, I lied. The top is a six, so that's probably why it's a little bit tight. Um, maybe size up, especially if you're a little bit bigger busted. But what I did love about this set is that it also has the option to purchase the matching crew neck sweater. I love the crew necks from Princess Polly. I have a huge collection of them. Something about the way that they're made and the materials that they're using, it is so soft. And you can see it's just like that kind of like fleecy material on the inside. So it's always like soft and warm. This one is, it says Lake Tahoe, Sierra Nevada. And since I live in Las Vegas, of course I love anything with Nevada on it. But I do super love the quality, so it will be cute to layer on over the tank. Let's see. So it's cute with the shorts, and you can even do like a little bra tuck or a tank tuck with it if you want to show off some skin. Just really love this outfit. If you just wear it lounging around the house, running some errands, hanging out with your girls at home, just anything where it calls for a comfy little set. This is the one. All right, so the next one is still part of the whole loungewear theme that I'm going with. This one is also a cropped tank. This one says Yosemite, and on the bottom I have just some sweatpants. They're not like a perfect match. They're not made to match. These are more of like a cream color and I would kind of put this at like more of a taupe, but I love like the play on neutrals here. I love how comfortable the sweatpants are. Another thing I'm a huge fan of at Princess Polly is their sweatpants. They're always like the bomb quality. I feel like the length is always perfect and they're always super soft and comfy. I've noticed they don't really shrink in the wash or anything like that. So the size you get is the size that it stays. I'm wearing a six on top for the tank top again, just like the last one, and an eight on the bottoms. But again, this is something I would just like lounge around the house in or go to the grocery store, go grab some coffee, run some errands. It's super comfortable. I think you could be dressed up really cute with maybe like a cropped denim jacket or even like a little leather jacket if it gets a little chilly at night, some cute sneakers, or even some sandals. But this is a keeper. This one is staying. <laughs> These next ones I was really excited about ordering. I love the two-tone. I've never owned a pair of jeans that is two-tone, even though I've had my eye on them for quite some time. I see a lot of people wearing them, and on Pinterest, the outfits always look the bomb. So I had to get a pair for myself. These are a size, these are also a size eight. My only issue, because I do have a bigger booty, 
is I get that gapping right here in the back, but that's easily fixable. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll see that I posted a reel on how to easily fix that gap with just a set of $8 fake buttons from Amazon. So I would totally do that on these pants. That way I can avoid all that extra in the back. But if you've got some money to spend, you could totally get it altered as well. It's not a problem. These are a little bit, I'd say they're a little bit long on me. I'm 5'4", and they kind of come down like past my ankle. I don't really mind. I guess I could wear them with some sneakers and it'll be like that like baggy 90s look. But if that's something that bothers you and you're the same height as me or shorter, you might want to consider them getting them altered or hemmed at the bottom there. But I do love these. They don't feel like um, that like rigid denim. They're more kind of like softer. So I'm not sure if they are 100% cotton. They are 98% cotton with 2% spandex, but you can definitely feel the stretch. They're not super rough. They're not rigid. Kind of feels soft, actually. I don't really know like what this fabric is, but it's comfy. It looks good on the booty. And again, love the two-tone because it can look good with so many different colors. Even if you're just going for like a basic white or a basic nude on top, it'll always look cute. And I got a beige colored denim jacket that I thought would look super cute with the pants. And turns out it does. So here's what it looks like on. I really love the baggy, the oversized look. So I did size up in this jacket. Um, I believe I got a size 12, a US 12. So they have their Australian sizes on there, but just try not to get mixed up with the US size because the Australian sizes run larger. So like it would say, you know, like a 12 in Australian, but it's really an eight in US. So just make sure you're paying attention to that when you're on the Princess Polly website. But yeah, this denim jacket is a definite keeper as well. I will be wearing it with a bunch of different outfits and over like even some skirts with a tank or a mini dress. Super cute, big staple in your closet. And I love that it's a different color other than like black or just a standard denim blue. So here's this one. It does have pockets. Pockets are a big plus in this house. Next one is super cute. I also got a bucket hat to go with it. So I'm really loving the whole like 90s vibe that I'm getting from it. And my little platform flip flops that I got from Princess Polly as well. I have these in brown and in white. I think they're just so cute for spring and summer. They're really comfy and you don't really like feel the platform or anything like that. So it's really comfortable to walk in. But I paired, um, this cute little cami, it's giving me all the spring vibes. And I'm loving blue lately too. It just makes me so happy. Just seeing the sky like finally out and, and clear is such a breath of fresh air because it's been a really long year, you know? But I paired that with these trousers that I got from there as well. These are in a size eight and the top is a size six. So it looks like my common theme here is like a six on top and an eight on the bottom. But I love the fit of these pants. No alterations necessary. Love how they look on the booty. And I love that they have like that classic professional look, but you can also kind of like dress it down depending on what you have on the top. So this is definitely something I could wear to work and then just like, you know, unbutton my top if I have to go out for the night or just wear a cute little tank underneath or something like that and still feel confident and sexy and cute. So these are a keeper. Um, warning, if you are my height, they are super long. You can see all this extra fabric is kind of like it's even rolling under my shoe. So this is something that I would get hemmed for me personally. If you're into like that super baggy, like stacked at the bottom look, then you're fine girl, keep it. But love this outfit. This one gets a 10 from me. We'll keep every part of it, including the bucket. This right here I am so excited about. It just reminds me of 
like what the fashion looked like when I was in middle school, like kind of like in the late 90s. And it gives me like that little, like that sporty spice mixed with like some baby spice vibes. But I'm really digging the length. I think it's so sexy. It cuts off right under the booty. This stripe right here has to be my favorite. That's what gives it like that little sporty edge to it and like not just a plain little black dress. But I love how it has that piping all the way around, down both sides, around the collar and down um, the straps in the back. I love the fit of this. This is a definite keeper. Probably wear it with some mules, some slides, or even some sneakers. I think it would look super sexy. The material is like the basic ribbed material. So it's really stretchy. It could fit a lot of different body types. And I think it's honestly going to look good on any type of body type. Like no matter how curvy you are, I think this just sucks in, in like all the right places. So as you can see, it really accentuates my curves, accentuates the booty, and even looks pretty good on the boobs. Huge keeper. This is going to be like a staple piece this summer. I can picture wearing it with even like an oversized blazer, a cute jacket, or just as is, which is most likely how you'll see me rocking it on the gram. Okay, the other dress I got has me feeling like some type of way. When I put it on, I just feel like such a bad bitch, which is great, a great feeling to have, no problems there. I have been seeing the color orange like all over Pinterest and all over my feed, and I knew I had to get on it for this season. I love like that highlighter orange. It is just like a pop and I feel like no matter where you go in this you're going to stand out. My absolute favorite part is like the peekaboo cutouts right here under the boobs. I think they're so sexy. They straps, I would say the straps are a little bit long but they are, oh ooh, yeah they're adjustable so that's not a problem. You could totally adjust them and help like lift the girls up a little bit. My only qualm with this dress, it's almost perfect. My only issue is it is like not see-through, but it's like really thin to where you can see like panty line material through it. So I may just wear, you can kind of see it right here. I would probably just wear like Spanx with it, I think, um, kind of like suck everything in and that way the panty line is not exposed. It's almost thin enough to where it might be see-through like in the right lighting and I just want to avoid any issues like that. So Spanx would probably be the way to go. Um, if you're not as curvy, you could probably get away with it just without any of that, just your panties. But yeah, this dress is going to be a huge staple piece for me this summer. Again, I love the color. I love the fit. I love like the ribs details. It kind of feels like um, almost like a swimsuit material. So that's what gives it all that stretch. I really love it. But yeah, give me a full 360. Looks good in all the right places, and you'll definitely see this baby on the feed soon. Hey, last but not least, I'm going to end this with a loungewear because I started it with one, and clearly I am obsessed with loungewear. These are no different. I love, like, the seafoam green color here, and I always love when there's, like, a little logo printing on something, and there is on these shorts, so it kind of gives them, like, more of an edge and just like a plain biker short. They are pretty tight. I did get my size eight. And although like the band is not tight, I kind of feel like around my thighs, it's like not uncomfortable, but a lot tighter than what I'm used to. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that though, but this is another crew neck that I will most likely be keeping. I love the color. I love like the faded vintage kind of print on it. It says the athletic club. And I love that I can pair it with like maybe some jeans or any other biker shorts. It doesn't necessarily have to be these, but we do love a good matching set. So here's this last one. Overall, I'm pretty happy with my Princess Polly haul. I definitely do love shopping there and I recommend giving it a try. As I said, I'm not working with them in any capacity, so unfortunately I don't have a discount code for you, but they're relatively easy to find, especially if you use, um, if you're on Instagram, most influencers that you follow, I'm sure have worked with them. And I typically tend to use my favorite influencers codes because I do want to support them as well as giving myself a 20% discount. 
So they are readily available and accessible for everyone out there. If you have any questions about any of the items or like I said, sizing or just want to know more in-depth things, go ahead and drop me some comments down below. I will make sure to respond to all questions and comments. And if you like what you see, please subscribe, like, follow, all the above. You can also find me on Instagram, which I will link right here. Hope to see you guys there and hope you tag along for any future try-on hauls.